If there's one big thing that I want you to get out of today's video, it's to please, please, please be the adult in the room. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I am your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from England. Mountain Man Medical has name brand proven trauma medical supplies with a price match guarantee to ensure you get the right gear at the right price. Check them out at get-asp.com slash mountain man. This cyclist has both front facing and rear facing cameras on his bike. Let's listen into the audio. Enough. M478 the original upload speeds it up here a little bit. You see that that guy cut him off and cut really close to him and that made him angry quite frankly. So he's going to follow this guy so he can give him a piece of his mind. So you see that guy kind of, you know, try to back into that spot a little bit and now our cyclist is going to come up on him at a stop sign. Let's listen into their argument. Too close mate, you passed me way too close. Mate. How fucking big is that bicycle? Do you, you need to drive in the road? Distance. Well, you're fucking lucky that I didn't hit you then, didn't you? If you'd have actually had the decency to go over one side instead of taking the whole fucking what, road. Into the door like zone. Into no. the door Are zone. you a fucking tank? No. Are you a car? No. You're a fucking little bicycle, but you seem to want to be in the middle of the road. Okay. Well, that's your problem, you get knocked off. Is, it? Now, is, is, off. is that what it says in the highway code? No, it says knock you cunts over. Is that what it says? Yeah. That's very interesting. You're on camera. I'm going to put you on YouTube. Put me on where you like and I'll fucking kill you. I'm going to report you to the police. Go this on, is, then do it now. This tape is now. going to go to the police. Do it now. You're a fucking idiot. It. You do not ride. Where does I've highway your... code say you sit in the middle of the fucking road? You can discuss it with the police. I'm reporting you. Go for I've them. got your registration. I've got you on camera. And it's Goodbye. Peugeot 405. I know what it is. Yeah, and then, by the way, have you got insurance on your bicycle? No. Yes. Have you got a helmet on? No. I don't are have to a wear a helmet. No, but are you a sensible what? Are you no. wearing a seatbelt? Are you a sensible Are you person? wearing a seatbelt? No, you're not. No, you are no, not. No, because I've just took it off. No, exactly, and you're on the road. So there just it is. I've got you for two offences. No. Go two fuck offences. I'm going to fucking get you. Are you? That's interesting. You're on camera. You're on camera. Excuse me. Would you like that broken? Would you like it broken? No, don't touch it. Would you like it broken? Don't. Right, well get a fucking life or I'm gonna sort you out and your fucking camera. Sad little cunt. Yep. Why don't you get a car? I've got a car. Have you? You probably get banned from me because you're a cunt. You've just committed an assault. Yeah, put your seatbelt on. That's put good. your fucking mouth shut! You are really pissing me off. I know I am. And you, you do this for a hobby? Fucking annoy people. <laughs> I'm taking your camera. Right. Try it. At the end of all this, the cyclist was not injured. He kept his camera, as you can see. The motorist ended up getting cautioned by police. I'm not sure if that's like a motoring ticket or something like that in the UK, but uh, there was a caution given to him and that's as much as came out of it. Well, this is the opposite of what being a good, sane, sober, moral, and prudent person looks like. Please, go watch this series on Active Self Protection Extra describing what each one of those look like. I'll put a link in the description so that you can take that education in too and work on doing it better and not being like these idiots. I know it's a hot button, cyclists and cars on the road, but recognize that a cyclist has a right to the road as well, has a right to be there in that spot. But of course, cyclists, we would encourage you get over on the side a little bit to give us much room to pass as possible. Now he took offense there and sometimes people do stuff to try to kind of teach others lessons. I'm telling you friends, part of emotional maturity is not getting sucked into this stuff, is having that, that idea that says that guy I'm never going to see again in my life and I'm not going to waste my time getting in an argument with somebody who's not going to listen to me anyways. 
and instead just being at peace with yourself and having the emotional fitness to just carry on with your day, man. That was a jerk move, but I'm not going to give you what for. Because what ends up happening here is you see him like sit there and now the guy's going to roll his window down and start to verbally abuse him and all those things. And, and listen, getting into an argument like this, you don't know what this guy is capable of. So this guy is, is a jerk and he's going to get out and be a little bit physically violent. But you're banking on the fact that, man, he doesn't have a tire iron in there he's willing to use because he gets mad at you or whatever. And, and I really can't say enough that sitting and having a, a little bit of legal discussion on the side of the road, well, is that what the, the laws say, blah, 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 whatever, is really just inviting a fist fight. And, and what I would strongly encourage you, this is part of active self-protection, is listen, just take the offense, be the bigger person, live a lifestyle of de-escalation, escape, and evasion, and go, okay, man, whatever, have a nice day, you're, you're good, I'm just not gonna have it, and, and recognize that your position in your society is not dependent on whether that guy agrees with you or not. And you're probably not gonna change his mind anyways. And if you end up giving him an educational beatdown, you are gonna be the one that ends up in jail for assault. And so don't do that. Just be the adult person instead of have to have an argument and have that guy acknowledge that you're right and he's wrong. This is part of, I think our problem as a society is a lack of politeness and a lack of understanding of what fights are actually worth fighting. And friends, these ain't it. Now, when the guy parks here, I, I can't tell you enough, the bicyclist should have got the heck out of there. He should have been gone already. And that way, this is not a problem anymore. Go the opposite way from this guy. Because now he's out of the car. And now the physical danger really ramps up. Because now he grabs a hold of the camera. Oh yeah, well, you think you got a camera on me, so I'm going to get in trouble. Now the physical danger really ramps up. Now, of course, this is the UK. There's no such thing. You know, good people are not allowed to carry any defensive tools whatsoever. Not a spray. Not certainly not a gun, not a knife. You go to prison for even having one on your person. So, so okay, fine, but the, but the criminals will do that like crazy. And so I think your bigger thing in an environment like this is to stay out of these fights to begin with because instead he's going to now heckle the guy some more. And I think that's a really, really bad idea because again, you've already poked the bear. He's gotten out and been willing to make physical contact with you once and now you're going to goad him and taunt him into doing it again. For what purpose? Because you want to have a fist fight with him? Well, I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you go, no, I want to fist fight this guy, but I think that's a dumb idea. And instead, I think, oh, he's going to get out of the car. Nope, I'm, I'm going to bicycle off. He finally gets it in his head that, hey, I'm going to get away from this guy. But I want you to notice how close it got here. This guy is going to start running and actually throw what I think is just a little bit of a kick here and try to get him down. And that's what causes the guy to take a tumble there. And, and again, you know, he put the quarter in the jukebox for that so he can dance to the tune. But I just would strongly encourage you, don't fall victim to this kind of stuff. I hope you watch this and realize how stupid both these guys look. And instead, that you be a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, de-escalate, escape, and evade, and better cover your ass.